Shlomo Artsy sings, all the partings are sad ones. Uh, I'm going to stick with English for most of this because uh, uh, this is a this is an emotional event for us in our lives. I'm looking back at five and a half years of uh, an amazing experience, uh, a job I loved and my family loved doing with me, right? And um, uh, there were definitely ups and downs. Uh, uh, no relationship is perfect, and uh, even relationships between best friends, and we are, the United States and Israel, about as good friends as you could have between two countries. But we have our disagreements. Some of them were very tough, and even recent. But I, that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about what we have experienced as our family, uh, which we've enjoyed every moment. We've uh, felt warmly embraced by the Israeli people. We've tried to give that back in equal measure. And I believe we've accomplished amazing things in strengthening the relationship in security, in technology, in intelligence, in econ economic relations. I'm very, very proud of that. And that happened all during the same period we had disagreements. So I, I look back with great fondness and, and sense of satisfaction. Any suggestions to the incoming ambassador? Um, I, you know, I uh, hope he will enjoy the job uh, as much as, as I did, and uh, I hope he will get to know the Israeli people, all of them, uh, all over the country the way we did. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, every ambassador and every administration has to decide how they want to uh, conduct their diplomacy and do the job, so I, uh, I respect that and, uh, and wish him well. I think it's going to be a new era, or is uh, declarations are one thing and what's going to happen on the field is another thing? We'll find out. We'll find out. I really can't speculate on behalf of the next administration. So we understand you're staying in the area, staying in Ranana. How long is that going to be? Uh, we'll be here for a little while so our kids can finish their school year, and uh, we'll see what comes after that. There were disagreements, and we're grown-ups, so we can acknowledge that there are disagreements uh, in, a, in a relationship, even between the best of friends. Uh, and we've had some. We've had some difficult ones. Uh, but uh, that's okay. There were times when uh, it needed focus uh, to stay uh, uh, true to the mission that uh, I was sent with by, by President Obama. Make these two allies stronger, uh, make them more secure, make them more peaceful. Uh, and I've tried to do that every day. In the same period that there were disagreements, when historians and uh, other observers and maybe even former ambassadors write about this period. Uh, I think the correct uh, record will show that in every respect, the U.S. Israel relationship grew stronger. It grew stronger in the connections between our peoples. Uh, we here at the U.S. Embassy take our job very seriously to do what we can, what no other part of the U.S. government can, and that is to connect with every part of Israeli society. And I sometimes like to list them, and I will. <laughs> Jewish and Arab and Muslim and Christian and Druze and Bedouin and Orthodox and Haredi and Datilumi and Chiloni. It doesn't matter who the Israeli citizen is. We want to know them. We want them to know us. We want them to connect to the values that bind our two countries. That has dramatically increased uh, during the five and a half years we've been privileged to do this job. The same is true of our security partnership. There is no comparison between the security connections between our militaries and our intelligence services and the technologies that we are developing and deploying in missile defense and tunnel technology and F-35s uh, and a $38 billion memorandum of understanding. There's no comparison in the joint training our militaries do together and the intelligence that is shared between our intelligence services uh, against all the common threats we face uh, out of this region. Uh, no comparison between what we're doing today and what we were doing five or ten years ago. Uh, and that even comes in periods of disagreement on some of those issues, but it also means that our search for uh, Israel's security uh, and peace, peace with its neighbors in a two-state solution with the Palestinians, two states for two peoples, uh, continues because that's a common uh, commitment and common bond we share. And the most dynamic uh, part of this relationship is the economic one. And there are many friends here, thankfully, from uh, a part of Israeli society who we really have only spent time focusing on in our work in recent years, and that is the business community, uh, and that is uh, the innovation community, the people who make this such a, uh, a dynamic, diverse, uh, innovative society. That is where our relationship is uh, on a sharp, sharp upward trajectory, uh, and that has also strengthened in the five years uh, that we have, uh, we have worked here. Uh, that's a tool we use also to fight against boycotts and BDS 
uh, and other means of isolating Israel. So across all of those realms, uh, the common values, the common strategic interests, the common prosperity, uh, we've been going up, and I've been working on promoting that under President Obama's leadership and under his vision. Uh, that is uh, something that he asked me to do uh, when he sent me here five and a half years ago. Uh, it's what his vision is for this relationship, that it gets stronger every day, that Israel grows more secure every day, that our search for peace and uh, acceptance and legitimacy for Israel expands every day, uh, and that our prominent prosperity increases every day. And sometimes Israelis feel a little bit alone in the world uh, as they face those challenges, but he, he underscored that they're not alone. You are not alone. Atem uh, Lolevad, he said in his uh, remarks uh, in 2013. Uh, and I want to reinforce uh, that message. Atem uh, Lolevad, and you returned it in rich measure uh, to Julie and to our daughters and us by making us never feel alone uh, here in this beautiful country. We always felt at home. We always felt embraced, and we'll always be grateful. Uh. Um, I must uh, thank, especially of all people, my wonderful family, my daughters who were plucked out of the life they knew in Washington and uh, into a very different life here uh, and have uh, thrived and blossomed and are uh, simply the pride and joy of uh, Julie and myself, but I think after the uh, pictures in Yidiot Acharnot this week, maybe of the whole country. <laughs> my beautiful Julie, my brilliant Julie, my brave Julie, who has uh, also been plucked out of uh, what she knew and uh, become a far better ambassador in our family than anybody else. Well, maybe Ravi. Uh, but the real ambassadors are standing over here and here. You, you inspire me and you uh, support me and I can't thank you enough and I, I love you all with all my heart.